Richard Krause. I think Toxic Aven the Toxic Avenger musical, the Toxic Avenger musical may be the first mainstream musical that has been totally uh, broadcast through the internet, that without any traditional media. It's, it's sort of like the red camera uh, um, gamer, in which I made a small uh, appearance. As that's a, right, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's right. Gamer uh, is the first mainstream movie to use the red camera. I think the, the Toxic Avenger musical is the first musical to to really take advantage of cyberspace and uh, be able to uh, spend the money on the production rather than on uh, uh, these yeah, uh, uh, television ads and uh, baloney. I, I also think, though, that on, on, on a more kind of serious note uh, with the Toxic Avenger, that the whole environmental movement has something to do with the with the popularity of this. I mean, the the, the message of the of the Toxic Avenger is clear and, and sort of unequivocal if you dump toxic waste in your backyard, really bad things are going to happen. You were saying this 25 years ago and uh, now we hear it everywhere and I think that it's kind of interesting that you know the musical seems kind of lighthearted on that but there is a message to it. Well originally uh, in 1982 when uh, we started producing Toxic Avenger the McDonald's sty uh, styrofoam was not biodegradable you know you'd see those cups and I mean, the people didn't talk about the environment. You know, they were they were just getting into uh, health food and going to gyms, and that's what made it interesting because I was getting all these uh, kind of fringe uh, underground newsletters about toxic waste dumps ticking away like time bombs all over the world and children playing in dumps uh, in Brazil, uh, Rio de Janeiro, playing with pixie dust. Children and the pixie dust was, was uh, uh, from x-ray machines that were being thrown away. It was, it was radium. And, uh, you know, stuff like that. And uh, so that just seemed that while, the, you know, the, everyone is trying to be beautiful and build up their bodies and eat uh, clean food and healthy food, the, uh, this big blue marble of ours is being totally polluted and defiled. And that just seemed to be, again, a, a kind of a yin and yang uh, uh, theme on which to base a movie. And that's kind of a lot of the heart of the original Toxic Avenger is, uh, is indeed, I mean, his, his weapon in the movie is a mop. Yeah. Well, and, and that mop has become kind of iconic as well. Oh, well, the yeah. Toxic Avenger is, uh, you know, the uh, New York Times it uses him and uh, uses the Toxic Avenger in editorials about the environment. I mean, there's all sorts of, uh, uh, it, 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 the Toxic Avenger is, is definitely a big, big, big star worldwide. And it's interesting if someone could make, do an interesting paper sort of on tracking the, uh, the heavily promoted uh, mainstream ingenues and actors that began in 1983 with the Toxic Avenger, which had no advertising in 1983, and uh, you know how many of them are still around, and how many and Toxies uh, is, is, if nothing else, bigger than ever. Yeah. You know, it keeps growing. Yeah. Richard Krause.